St. John Parish is one of those parishes that are prone to flooding uh, during a tropical weather. Now it is on the western shore of Lake Pontchartrain. This is where the easterly winds tend to push water onto roadways and into low lying areas north of I-10. Paul Murphy joining us now live from that area. Now, Paul, can you tell us what you're seeing around you right now? Charisse, I can tell you that the winds have started to really pick up here. They are stiff. A breeze out of the east. Take a look. You can see that the water from Lake Pontchartrain here on the west to crash over the rock jetty and seawall here at Frenier Landing. And St. John Parish leaders say even though Laura is now expected to make landfall 200 miles to the west of here, the hurricane could still pack a punch in the river parishes. In St. John Parish, all eyes are on Lake Pontchartrain. Powerful storms tend to push water in from the Gulf over the eastern shore of the lake. Laura is no different. Tidal surge and a strong east wind are already flooding parts of some roadways like Peavine Road near Frenier Landing and Highway 51 near Rudock. The roads are still passable, but parish leaders expect tides to be up to four feet above normal for this weather event. People have to bear in mind we're still on the east side of the system. So even though you're outside of that cone, in some aspect, you still can anticipate some sort of tropical weather. People in St. John know all too well the potential impacts of being on the eastern side of a powerful storm. Hurricane Andrew made landfall near Morgan City in 1992, but it spawned an F3 tornado that cut a nine mile path of destruction through Laplace and Reserve. Andrew was far off away from the parish and uh, it, it completely devastated areas of the parish in 92. I remember that very, very well. People have been coming out to the lake throughout the day to get a glimpse of the choppy seas. Angel Bullock from Laplace brought her niece and grandchildren to the western shore after seeing pictures of the high tide on social media. We flooded in 2012, uh, had to move in with family, it was horrible. Um, you know, it took months and months, everybody was flooded, and so it took months and months to, um, you know, get back home. Just up the road in past Manshack, a private flood wall is in place surrounding the legendary Middendorf Seafood Restaurant. On the other side of the bridge is the Gators Den, where manager Brandy Coxon talked about Hurricane Laura hitting the coast just on the heels of Tropical Storm Marco. Anytime you have two of them coming back to back, and many of us have been through Katrina and Rita back to back, and then Gustav and Ike, so we were very glad to see that uh, come down a little bit. And while the threat may have come down a little bit, the threat remains just the same. We should also report that St. John Parish has lifted a voluntary evacuation for the low-lying areas north of I-10. We're live at Frenier Landing on the west shore of Lake Pontchartrain, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.